Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 36 of the Math Proficiency Test for Teachers in Ontario. Without further ado, let's get to it. We have which of the following is equivalent to 70%? So we have 0 0.07, 70, 1 over 70, or 7 tenth. This um, question, if you were able to do all the previous ones, it covers a lot of concepts we've covered, like decimals, the fractions, the percentages, and also just the intuition of what all these are visually. So I strongly encourage you to pause the video and attempt this problem by yourself, as I think you have a good shot at succeeding, and that way you can learn more. I'll assume that you've paused that, and let's get to it. We have 70%, and 70% just in... Intuitively, if we go back to the first step of solving any problem is understanding what that means, right? 70%, if we have one whole chocolate bar, for example, 70% and you, is that you, if you divide it in 100, then you'd have 70 pieces of 100, 70 per 100, 70 per cent. Cent in English, in French, I mean, is 100, right? So it's 70 per 100 and so let's say we just divide this in 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there's 10 pieces 9 lines 10 pieces then that means 70 percent is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you can see that it's roughly three quarters of the way and we know that three quarters is 75 percent so if you have three quarters in your pocket, you have 75 cents, right? So which of the following is 70%? Well, this thing, if you put it in a decimal or in a fraction, that would be, so maybe, maybe I'll just write these guys. So I'll write A, B, C, D, and we have 0 0.07. If we put in a fraction, that's seven over 100 or that's 7% because you have seven per 100. So we know it's not this one and you know it's too close to zero because it should be closer to one than to zero. So it's it's not A, okay? 70, well that's 70 units, right? So that's over 100, that would be uh, or in decimal, that would be 70.0, or if you want to really put it over a fraction, it'd be over 100. So if you divide it by 100, you also need to multiply it by 100. So it would be 7,000%. So that's not ideal here. And for, for C, you have 1 over 70. Well, that's really close to zero. So you just intuitively, you know it's not that, right? So, but if you do the math and you do one divided by 70, you get 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.0143, and that's way too close to zero. So, and I'll just finish B. This would be uh, 7,000, 7,000 percent. And C, you have seven over 10. And in the decimal, that's 0 0.7. So that makes a lot of sense. You can put it over 100 by doing times 10 times 10, and you get 70 over 100. And that is 70%. So this one works. And so we can conclude that it's D. You don't need to check all of them by hand like that. Just intuitively, this one should make sense here. And just to build intuition, you could draw some some pictures for all of them, but I'll just focus on B. B would be, uh, I wrote D, but I said B, that's not good. B, if you have 70, that's 70 chocolate bars. So you know that's definitely not, that's not this one, because you're supposed to get three quarters of one chocolate bar. A, maybe we'll do all of them, since it's not too long. And then I'll let you go. So A, if we draw it, it would be, and I'll just write 70 times. A would be you have one chocolate bar and you only color a little slice of it. And then you see as you split it up into 70. 
and you'll only have a little slice of it again. And then D as you split it up into 10. And you have three quarters of it. So you could draw, draw it, but honestly, I recommend you learning the numbers because it's faster and it's all connected. So you might as well. Thanks for watching. The best uh, way to support the channel is to hit the subscribe button below. You can also watch the video in the description. And if you like and share this video with your friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Do The Work.